Southpaw Hogan Harris. We talked about the last outing for Hogan Harris. And I think we have really emphasized what the fastball command means for this starting rotation. But Hogan Harris was able to utilize his curveball as well to keep guys off balance. Mixed in a change up here or there. But for Hogan Harris, I, th I think really it's about establishing and landing some of the secondary stuff. Well, that's a good start for Hogan Harris to strike out. He'll hit it hard. A one hopper to Toro. He bounces up. Slings across the diamond. And Abraham Toro had a great play at the hot corner. One two pitch, a high chopper. Retreating is Schumann. The throw to first is perfect. And a quick one, two, three inning for Hogan Harris. We'll see the A's bats against the Blue Jays in the bottom of the first. Yeah, man, coming back to his roots. Parts of six seasons for Bassett here at the Coliseum in Oakland. And the last year was 2021. It was his only All Star season in the big leagues made 27 starts that year and pitched to an era just over three and then he was traded the following march to the new york mets the two twos popped up on the infield and it might be bassett it is chris bassett's going to make the catch two two and he got him a fastball on the outside corner that on swings through well that's that sinker that has been getting hit pretty hard this season and that's been a bit of a mystery because it was such a valuable pitch for chris last season and he threw him a fastball. It's hit to right center, but it is playable for Kevin Kiermeyer. He's got the sunglasses on. Bassett gets the A's in order. Charge, but a lot of discussion in the media about Bichette and Guerrero, of course, Vince. Those two guys looking at uh, free agency after next year as Bichette. It's a drive in the center. Bade going back nearing the track. At the track, right in front of the 400 foot mark, and he makes the catch. One hopper dug out with a backhand by Schumann. Loads up and throws to first. So poised and confident over there. Max Schumann getting better and better. Well, for Alejandro Kirk, that magical 2022 year was one that I think he hoped would never end. Was an all star, a silver slugger. Now working as a duo with Danny Jansen. He'll lift it to right. Seth Brown, a good jump on the ball, fighting the sun and making the catch right before the warning track. Six up, six down for the lefty, Hogan Harris. One, two, inside out swing. That's dropping in right center and will drop down. Brent Rooker will take a long turn around first and a leadoff single for the A's in the second. Start this series against Seattle. Now a slowly grounded ball to Bo Bichette. Got to work quick. The speed of Langoliers was not there to beat out the throw. Beat him by a step, but it does advance Rooker into scoring position and does a job. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball to third. Clement to second for one. Kind of a left at a first for the double play. First of three against the Toronto Blue Jays here at the Coliseum. Get this one in the air. On Duhar will make the catch. And Clement hits it deep to center field. Bladé again will have room and make the catch. And that's hit the other way. Kiermeyer has a base hit and takes a hard turn around first, pushing for second. The throw in is not in time. Kiermeyer was not stopping around first, and Mark Kotze has his hand up. Well, what you got to take note of is the fact that Kiermeyer came off the bag because the right hand indeed touches the bag prior to a tag. However, right here, right there, he got Well, you can see Kiermaier say, hey, hey, you know what? That's my bad. Well, what Guccione wanted you to know was that the call on the field is overturned. He is out, and the A's are going to go hit. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball again to get him. And he's going to test Springer. Boy, did you pick a good time to point that out, Joe. <laughs> well, you look out at the field from our vantage point up here, and I saw the shadow cutting across the mound at the start of the game, but here we are in the bottom of the third inning, and George is the sole guy out there. Seth Brown was fighting it a little bit, catching that fly ball down the right field line. Here's a liner to left, and that'll be caught by Davis Schneider as Bassett sets down the A's in order. Outside ball four. Turner will take a one-out walk. Another good at bat from Justin Turner. Now a chopper to short. Schumann charges, flips to Geloff. Over to first, and they got him. And that's what the Blue Jays want to see. There's a line drive in the left. That's a base hit for Bo Bichette to lead off the fifth. Now grounded to third. Toro to second. Geloff to first. And another double play. 3-0 to Kirk is high, a four-pitch walk to extend the top of the fifth. Here's a base hit for Kiner Falefa. 
Kirk up to second two on with two out. He quite literally forced our hand after a 356 spring. He'll lose his bat and slowly roll it to Soderstrom. The race to the bag is won by Harris and that will retire the side. And the infielders will move a little bit if he wants them to. Springer going back. I asked George does Bassett ever reposition the outfielders <laughs> and he said no and he goes that's a Mark Brzezinski thing <laughs> and then he also Soderstrom gets it beyond the reach of Kiner Falefa off the end of the bat and gets another hit that's two straight games with a hit for him maybe he's starting to heat up and this one is popped up it'll be Bichette again and goes back again to make the catch and the inning is over. It not a lot of offense that might continue for Hogan Harris he strikes out Kevin Kiermeyer just the second strikeout for Harris 3 2 rounded to Schumann he's got it and the throw is perfect called strike three Hogan Harris have a bow six shutout innings and he sends it to the bats again shadows covering the entire field and Schumann lines one to left for a base hit. Well, a lot of strikes being thrown, Vince, and so, you know, early swinging by the hitters is not a bad idea. Toro line drive. That's over the leaping glove of Donald. Bo Bichette. Schumann to third. He'll slide in safely. Now they have him at the corners. Here's Bleday. Infield to pull. That one kicks away from Kirk. Schumann will score. And the A's strike first off of a wild, wild pitch. Austin oh. Adams. On here now to start the seventh inning against Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 2 2. Swing and a fly ball down the right field line. Seth Brown on the run near the corner and it drops down in fair territory and bounces over the wall. That'll be a ground rule double for Guerrero. So runner at second, nobody out. And the batter, Bo Bichette, who's hit the ball hard twice tonight. This is a soft liner and it is down for a fair ball. And Guerrero's going to come in to score. The Bichette RBI single ties it up. <laughs> at 72, it's not going to hurt all that much. Bounced off the mound. Kiner Falefa, tricky play, and he makes it. And he got a great pitch. Looked like a splitter there to strike him out. And now gets him to wave at the breaking ball. And what an outing tonight so far, and probably into the night. A great eight innings for Chris Bassett. One, two. And Mason Miller with the scythe of a slider cuts down Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to two. Why not go right back to it? Why not? There's two. Grounded to third. Toro bobbles it. Springer wasn't hustling out of the box. One, two, three inning for the Reaper, Mason Miller. J.J. Bladé up for the A's. We go to the bottom of the ninth in a 1-1 tie. Bladé swinging a drive. 